with a subject tonight called faithfulness. With faithfulness tonight, Amen. the subject of faithfulness is being a man and being faithful. Amen. God, we just thank you tonight. Let's go ahead and get into the word of God right now. Dealing with faithfulness, dealing with faithfulness, stewardship and faithfulness tonight. Let's turn to the book of Numbers chapter 12, verse number 1 through 10. That's Numbers chapter 12, verses number 1 through 10. Whenever you get that, please say amen. God, we just thank you, Lord. Open up our understanding. We may understand yes. your word. Numbers chapter 12, verse number 1 through 10. Are we there? Amen. And see what the word of God says. If you don't have a Bible, please get your Bibles. Amen. We thank God for the men being fellas uh, simple here tonight. And we're going to go ahead and break the word of God tonight. And the word of God says, And Marion and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. And they said, Has the Lord indeed spoken only to Moses by Moses? Has he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it. See, that let us know, even as being men, we just got to sometimes watch what we say. And women got to do the same thing. As people of God, we got to be careful what we say. Not a man, Mo, not a man Moses, not a man Moses was very me was very mean above all the men which were upon us the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and said, and unto Aaron and to Marion, and, and, and basically saying, Marion, come out ye three unto the tabernacle of congregation. And they and they three went and they three came out and the Lord came down in the pillar cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Marion and they both came forth. And he said, hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. He said, what? My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in in all my house. Let's go back there again. The word of God says, my servant Moses is not so. He is faithful in all my house. So that's telling me that the Lord had a very hot standard. He respected Moses. Yes. It's telling me that he respected Moses. Moses wasn't just some chump. Moses was God respected Moses. Amen. And because Moses was faithful. Have you ever met someone that ain't faithful? Anybody ever met a man that ain't faithful to his wife? Ever met a woman that ain't faithful to their husband? Never met somebody like that? I've met people like that. Amen? Amen. See, see, and, and see, the thing about it, you don't respect them because they're not faithful. Amen. Right? But the Lord had respect under Moses because Moses was faithful. Let me tell you something, young men and women. Young men, pray God, because it's me and fellowship tonight. I'm, I'm crying to impart to the young people that is an imperative that you be faithful. Right, amen. You may not have a million dollars. You may not look like a Denzel Washington, but just make sure that you're faithful. Amen. You may not have the IQ, the IQ of Einstein, but make sure you're faithful. Right. Amen. amen. Make sure that you're faithful. That's one thing I'm teaching you young bucks tonight. Whenever you become a man, learn how to be faithful. Amen. Learn how to be faithful. Amen. A faithful man will keep a job yes, for his wife. Amen. A faithful man will keep his wife in a car. A faithful man will keep a roof over his wife and his children in. That's what being faithful is about. Amen. When I was a child, we had to sit in. This silly mentality that when you become a man, you make a baby, you you be your man. You know, we were just ignorant. We ain't know no better. That's what the street taught you. Yet once you make a baby, you can walk around with your chin stuck out saying, I'm a man now. But I'm here to tell you, I found out better since I've been grown. It is not the man that makes the baby. The true man takes care of the baby. The true man takes care of the baby. And the true man will take care of a baby that don't even belong to him. Amen. What? Amen. That's a real man. Amen. My goodness. That's, the truth. That's what they taught us in the street. You know, we ain't know no better. All those are just ignorant. We thought we had it going on. But when we got out in real life, well, I found out what a real man is. Right. Amen. And a real man ain't one running around making papers all over the place. Amen. And ain't taking care of him. Right. 
A real man stands up to his responsibility and be that man when he don't feel like it. Amen. Yes, Lord. Dealing with faithfulness tonight. Yeah. Dealing with faithfulness. So you see that God looked, unto Mo looked at Moses because Marion and Aaron was talking about Moses. They was coming against Moses because of who Moses married. Yeah. Amen. They was dipping their nose in somebody else's business. Yeah. Who Moses married wasn't married in Aaron's business. What? Who Moses married wasn't married in Aaron's business. Yeah. That was not their business. And the Lord backed it up and showed them that that was not their business. Yeah. See what's going to happen. Now the Lord threw it out. He called all three of them to the door of the tabernacle and began to educate them. He said, let me tell you something. If there be a prophet, drop verse number, let's start with verse number uh, uh, four, four. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Mary and come, and come out, ye three, into the tabernacle of congregation. That ye, and, and, and they three came out, and the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Mary, and they both came forth, and he said, hear ye now my word. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in, in what? In a vision. And will speak unto him in a dream. So that's telling me that somebody has got a prophetic call. The Lord will begin to deal with you with dreams. The Lord will begin to deal with you in the vision, praise God. The Lord will begin to show you things in your dream. The Lord will begin to show you vision, praise God. Because that's the, that's the first origin of the prophetic call. But the Lord is saying this. And he said, Hear now these words. And in verse 7, my servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not were afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger, somebody said the anger, and the oh, anger of the Lord, uh, and the Lord uh, was killed against them, and, and he and he departed. So whenever the Lord get mad at you, see it's all right if I get mad at you, but whenever the Lord get mad at you, you in trouble, praise God. No, if the Lord get mad at me, I'm in trouble, praise God. Oh, praise God. I offend you. I can go to you and say, I'm sorry, my brother. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me, praise God? But what happened when we offend God? What happened when we make the Lord mad at us? The Lord ain't only going to get mad when the Lord just gets mad. Stuff happens. See what's going to happen. And the cloud departed from the off the tabernacle. And behold, Marion became leprous, white as snow, and Aaron looked upon Marion. And behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto both, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done what? Foolishly. Wherein we have done what? Foolishly, praise God. And where we have sinned. Oh, my Lord. How did they sin? With their mouth. With their mouth. As a man, and learn how to be faithful, you got to learn, number one, how to control your mouth. Some of these women need to do, do the same thing. I'm the truth anyway. But I'm talking to men tonight. So men got to learn how to control their own mouth too. All that judgment came upon Mary. Oh, praise God, because she opened up her mouth in somebody else's business. Let's go to the word of God. Dealing with faithfulness tonight. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 22. 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse number 22 to 35. Whenever you get that, please say amen. 1 Samuel chapter 22. Amen. amen. Uh, and, and beginning with first, uh, chapter number 2 and then verse 22. That's 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 22 to 35. Amen. See what the Bible says. Dealing the night with faithfulness. Can somebody say, all of y'all say faithfulness. faithfulness? Faithfulness. Faithfulness, amen. Let's go to the book of the living God, the word of God tonight. Okay, 1 Samuel chapter 22 and verse number 20, uh, chapter 2 and verse 22. That's 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 22. Them two sort of tripped me up a little bit, but we got it under control right now in Jesus' name. Chapter 2 and verse 22, 1 Samuel, and the Bible says, now Eli was very old. 
and heard all that the son did unto all Israel. What did they do? 